I am back out west in one of my favorite states searching for a mature buck to wrap my tag around. Although bow hunting public land can be tricky, my good buddy Dylan and I have had great luck over the past few years hunting out here. 20. We've even been fortunate enough to wrap our tags around several great bucks, both mule deer and whitetail. Last year proved to be a difficult hunt as I was only able to make it out in late December and the extreme cold and snow proved to be very challenging for a bow hunter. I was lucky enough to find one great buck after multiple days of searching and eventually was able to sneak into range. As he fed calmly at 70 yards, I chose not to take the shot as I did not want to risk wounding this magnificent animal. Hoping I would be able to inch closer with time, a doe had slipped behind me and caught my wind, and the big buck was never to be seen again. One last attempt at another mature buck on the last day proved to come close, but the loud crunchy snow and ever-changing winds spared this buck's impending fate. It's now October 2022. With five days to hunt, the goal is to find a mature buck, whitetail or mule deer. The plan is to travel across multiple public land areas with the hopes of finding just one on the right side of the fence. It's the evening of the first day. About the only thing I've seen so far is a group of three bucks just across the fence from where I can hunt. The one's right there, he's a mature buck for sure, definitely close to 150. The other one not too far behind him. And then the, the last one's quite a bit smaller, but cool to see nonetheless. I don't know if they're gonna end up coming onto the public tomorrow or not. I mean, they're right there, but I think I'm actually gonna go to a different spot, give it a try in the morning. And if I don't have any luck, I can always come back here. So, pretty good first day so far. Not a ton of deer, but covered a lot of ground and got high expectations for what the next few days might bring. Shooter spotted. He's a dandy too. <laughs> so exciting. Combination of being cold and a little adrenaline. We should shake like crazy. The sun's gonna come up though, it's blocked by the clouds right now. It is going to be a beautiful day. Well, so far this morning has been absolutely incredible. I've seen well over 30 deer, several mature bucks. The big one that I first saw is a big framed mature buck. He had good forks, but he didn't have a G3 on his, I think it was his right side. I watched him bed on the public but then he went, jumped the fence onto private, but there's another mature buck that I'm watching right now. He's still on the public. He's a big eight pointer, no splits. Can't tell if he's got brow tines or not, but that would make him the eight. He's a mature buck for sure. He's with four other bucks. And I just watched him disappear kind of into a little bowl over here. So I'm gonna give him just a little bit of time, see if I watch him come out. And then I'm gonna go over there and make a move. Hopefully I can get close and make a shot. Pretty gnarly. <sighs> well, that didn't work. One of the does picked me off from, I don't know, four or 500 yards away. Thought I was in the clear. Wasn't paying enough attention. I was in the wide open. 
she saw me. Dumb mistake on my part for sure. These deer have definitely been educated. They've certainly been hunted. That's okay though. Just makes it more fulfilling when it works out. There was a real nice buck about 300 yards across the fence bedded in some trees. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up somewhat close to the fence on a hill and watch him. We got probably five or six hours till dark. Maybe if I'm lucky he'll get up and come my way and cross the fence and maybe I can get a shot. I watched the mature buck on the private side of the fence for the better part of the afternoon. When he finally stood up, he was slowly heading my way. As I sit on the hillside, light is fading fast, but I catch a glimpse of one of the bucks I was with the giant this afternoon, and he's coming my way. It's possible the giant I watched all afternoon might just follow his footsteps across the fence, onto the public, and into range. With little to no cover, I stand motionless, hoping he doesn't spook. As he circled downwind, the buck caught my scent, keeping the big one from coming into range before the end of shooting life. Maybe tomorrow will be the day. Sorry if my lens is kind of foggy. It's a cold one out here this morning, but I spotted that big one. He's on public. I spotted the big frame one. He's actually working towards him with a group of two other bucks. They're about a mile and a half away, and I'm afraid that they're going to go off of the public, so I'm going to go as fast as I can over there and see if I can at least get in front of them so that they don't cross the fence. And... Uh, you know, if I get really lucky, they're going to bed right in that draw in the public, and I'll be there ready to make a stock. So I'm going to start moving. Well, you can probably about guess how that went. They made it across the fence before I could get here. About 300 yards over again, working away. <laughs> I think that bigger one that I saw this morning was in that draw and went with him. Huh. Pretty frustrating. <laughs> well, never really happy to find anything like this, but somebody must have shot a buck, not been able to find it. He's a dandy too. This year's for sure. He's got that extra point coming off his beam on his left side. Tall. Good luck. It's a darn shame. Can't be very old. Had to die this year. Probably just a couple weeks ago. Sucks to see, but it's part of it. I'm guessing somebody probably shot him and wounded him. He's dead right here on the edge of the public. But who knows, maybe the coyotes got him or something else. There's a lot of a lot of predators around. Darn shame either way. I guess we'll just keep pushing on. As I circled around through the bottoms to wait for the bucks to come back across the fence for the evening sit, I spotted a coyote just up the draw. I gave him some lip squeaks, coaxing him towards me. Wiley Coyote proved to be smarter than me as he caught my shadow before he came around the bend. One more split second and he wouldn't have been so lucky. <laughs> Wiley Coyote, just about at him, so close. As I slowly continued my way up the draw, I couldn't believe my eyes.
bucks jump the fence, joining the rest of the deer on the private back in the bowl. I'm set up on the edge of the draw, hoping they will feed back out onto the public as the sun settles. I'm in position. All they need to do is come my way. Despite seeing a few smaller bucks and a few does to my left, the big ones never came out of the bowl they were bedded in. Maybe day four will be my lucky day. All right, story time. Made it to this hill this morning to glass and again saw those big bucks working towards the private boundary fence. And I thought, man, like I'm not gonna sit on the fence again and hope that they come back across. I gotta try to get in front of them. Ran down the fence line and my GoPro battery was at like 60% and it died from being cold. So none of this is on film, but I get up to the hill, peek over, and the biggest buck in the group standing there feeding at 36 yards. Draw back, he has no idea that I'm there. Settle my pin, pick a spot. I'm pulling, I'm pulling. Shot breaks, everything feels perfect way over his back and the only thing that i can think of is that i used the wrong pin i think i split my 40 and 50 instead of using my 30 40 and i shot right over him shot for a long time and i think i've only done that maybe once or twice on a 3d target in my life and never had it happen on an animal ever i thought i was using the right pins i was right on him it felt good but i shot high and that's the only thing i can think of but i thought you know what day's not over it's still only about 8 30 in the morning so i ran back up on this glass and hill and I just spotted a group of four bucks that are bedded along the public down in this drainage. And I think that I might be able to get in position for a shot. So I'm really hoping that I can make this happen. As I circle around towards the bedded bucks, I see another group of deer heading in their direction. Hoping they don't join together and then travel across the fence onto private, I continue to circle around and get in position, slowly stalking on the downward side of the same draw that I spooked the two giants out the day before. I spotted a deer's back less than 10 yards away, and then... I slowly sneak down into the drainage on the back side of a slight ridge between me and the buck. I know that if I can make it to the right spot, I won't spook a single deer and I will be well within range. My wind is good and now that I'm in position, he is only 30 yards away. I have every advantage on my side. All I need to do is wait for him to stand for a shot. After two hours, the buck finally stands from his bed. I draw back and wait for him to turn. The buck goes to bed facing me and I immediately crouch below the small ridge and let down my bow. It's still a waiting game. The buck has no idea I am near, 
and I can use the tips of his antlers to determine when he will stand next. At last, he stands again, moving towards a nice bedded spot in the afternoon shade. I draw my bow as he works his way towards the far clay wall that I previously ranged at 42 yards. I knew that if he stopped right there, I would have a perfect opportunity at a 40 yard shot. As he paws the ground to prepare his bed, I begin to pull through my shot. Drilled him. Drilled him. Watch him. Watch him. Well, not sure if the GoPro file is going to save or not, but he come right down this valley right here, stopped right here at 20 yards, put another arrow in him on the other side, got his other lung, and he's dead 50 yards right in this bottom. Let's go take a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's a dandy. Check this out. Sorry, bad camera work. Oh yeah. That is a public land giant right there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that is awesome. Oh man, <laughs> that is awesome, that is a great buck. Got good forks and good front, this one doesn't have a fork but the good front kind of making up for it. What an awesome deer, holy cow, that is a slob. <laughs> Amazing that he made it that far after that shot. That was the first shot right there at 40. The other arrow's in him on the other side. Went in right there, arrow must come out. I couldn't ask for anything more. Truly blessed beyond belief. What an absolutely magnificent animal. I'm so, so blessed, so lucky. <laughs> Whole time I was standing there waiting, just praying for two things. Just praying number one, that he would never have an idea that I'm there, and number two, to make the most perfect, perfect ethical shot that I could. And both of those were fulfilled. Here's the second arrow. Bust it off. Well guys, all I gotta say is I am incredibly blessed. Cannot believe I am putting my hands on this magnificent public land mule deer. Could not be more proud. Could not be more blessed. Thank you guys for following along. It's a lot of trials and tribulations, but it all came together. Till the next time.